Okay, I have a message. I have a message for Mabu888, Zendelheim, Edgy1333, The Riff Shaman, 1010 Bree, Caddyman V8, Super Sajin Yet, Rose Winter PDX, Cheeto 600, The Good Locust, and for Axel, you know who you are. Um, Bearheart, send me an email with your contact information if, if you want to, uh, phone numbers, and where in the country you are. I have decided to uh, take somebody up on an offer to go and possibly root out and investigate. Um, well, I'm not going to Dulce, but it's going to be somewhat similar. I am going to go and do a uh, possible documentary with someone who's very interested in the work that I do and um, perhaps do some rituals and I also have a standing invitation to go into uh, deep northern California and meet with a group that is most certainly uh, Illuminati based and I'm going to take them up on that uh, I'm going to go face a few of them and um, the it's a tentative discussion I'm not sure about what um, but here's my chance to uh, stare stare evil in the face and I'm and, and I'm going to take it is it a little dangerous yeah it is and um, I'm a little a little nervous about it but I'm gonna do it anyways my spirits are really telling me to uh, to take the take and seize this opportunity. So I'm going to. I know there's going to be a lot of people who say don't do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to be gone for about a week, week and a half. So if I'm gone two weeks, don't panic. <laughs> um, but regardless of, of of what happens, I just kind of want to um, share a little bit more of myself and just thank everyone who has gotten uh, a lot out of this channel, which which is my full intent, is that people uh, get something out of it and use it. There's still a lot of things I want to do. Um, we'll just, you know, we'll see what's available when it's available. You know what I mean? Um, whew, so, I, in, any of you guys who know how to build and maintain a website, that would be great. Um, I think maybe even doing a radio show would be pretty cool. And I've got some DVD ideas, or I've got uh, something that I can post on. Um, anyways, anyone who's really good at media um, and... Maybe even after you know, after I get back, we we should all discuss. Um, I would really love to do like a documentary YouTube kind of channel, although that's going to be pretty difficult. Oh yeah, the people on that list. Um, tell me what part of the country you're in, because if I'm in that part of the country, I uh, I would love to actually meet you in person. So I'm I'm not I'm going to stop rambling. I just want to share some stuff. Uh, just so people can kind of get a better idea of who I am and uh, hopefully I'll be back to do more videos but if not you know I I would just kind of like to show who I am and then hopefully the energy of this channel will carry over into um, a furthered awakening so a lot of people ask me about uh, my strength training so um, here's that 120 pound club I made <laughs> with a dogda. <laughs> um, I got to the point where I could lever it over my head. Uh, the weight is in the thousands of pounds when it's levered, so my hands, both my hands would go at, at, at the very end. It would be over my head. 
so the weight would be levered uh, behind me and this is 120 solid steel pounds. Uh, when I was swinging it, uh, the torque of it tore the skin off my hands. Um, there's Thor's hammer right there. For those of you who have never seen the tools of a, of a priest king, there's a sword. Um, sword of a Wiccan priest king. Uh, this is an axe of power. Uh, also another major ritual a item of mine. Um, here's a long handled mace. Uh, back here is a barbell loaded with 315 for cleans and presses. So my 100 and 115 or 120 pound dumbbell. I can't remember. I've got a bunch of them. It's my uh, my 40k <clears throat> kettlebell right there. Um, so uh, definitely big into the world of strength training. Uh, here's a random picture of me. There we go. Random picture of me. Not really sure where that was taken. Well, I mean, I took it. I don't know where I took it. Uh, what else do I got in here? Oh, yeah. Here's me with the panda hat on. Here's the panda hat. There's me with the panda hat. So I'm here, now I'm hiding, oh, uh, you see me again. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's see what else I got. Oh, here's an interesting thing. Uh, I'm not going to give you a lot of details about this particular picture. Uh, it was a couple years ago. I'm about, uh, people should know by now I got in a really bad accident. Um, so I'm about... Oh man, I'd say about 40 pounds, 50 pounds heavier in this picture. Um, so I mean, you know, guess which one I am. Um, the other two men are uh, next to me are the only two members of the order that stayed absolute true. Uh, I've mentioned one before, the other one I have not mentioned, and, um, and we'll keep it that way. Let's see. Uh, here's a really old picture of me, um, some bottom-up presses with a really big kettlebell. Um, I was doing 20 or 30 in a row with the bottom-up presses with that kettlebell. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, yeah, that's about it. Well anything of like you know any real importance well I mean it's all important um, hmm let me go over here real quick anyways um, really wasn't you know I just wanted to show some potential pictures of who I am um, just in case anything happens I would be, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, but I do want to thank everyone who, I, you know, when 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 the order made this, uh, decided to do this channel. Uh, there was a, a real, real big debate about it, and um, I'm glad we did because uh, because of what happened. Um, It just, I'm glad that we got a lot of people who are being helped and a lot of people who were able to break free out of a lot of uh, other strange uh, traditions. And um, for everyone out there who has been interested in hermetic ceremonial magic, as long as you understand that the original goal is to just firmly connect yourself with prime creator and that you stand as God in the circle or goddess in the circle and to throw off the shackles of, uh, of fear and slavery and torment 
and that what you're doing is you're connecting with your higher genius, that you're connecting with your higher self, and that you are using the tasks and talents of these spirits to aid you into freeing humanity and bettering yourself and how to teach you the value of self-sacrifice, you're doing the right thing. Any other tradition that tells you that humans are dirty or worthless, that your sexuality is wrong, that you're a sinner, uh, blah, 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 it's poisoned. It's absolutely poisoned. And anyone who uses enlightenment against you is 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 pr very much on the side of the co-op. Very much on the side of the co-op. And, you know, stepping up into your higher self is hard. It's not easy. It won't happen overnight. It, it's, it's a daily thing. And it's true that there's, there's a story in the Bible about Jesus in the desert for, and he's tempted by the devil. That story actually comes from the Kabbalah first, not the Bible. It's, it's in the road between Tepareth and Kether. There's a long path that is symbolized by the tarot card of the high priestess. In the old days, this path was called the path of the camel or the descent into the wasteland or entrance into desolation. And it's the longest path on all the Kabbalah. It is after you've achieved your higher self and you're looking towards full union and becoming a Sesamus, becoming your superior self where you're standing in the realm of the prime creator and all the great ones. It's when you are immersed in that light that you cast the biggest shadow. And it is only when you've achieved your higher self that the road really gets tough. So Jesus was sometimes called the water of life. The camel was said to have drank all the water it's needed. And so you walk on that path as yourself. You need nothing else. But it's the hardest path to walk because it's, it's when that you are tempted the most. Because when you realize your highest potential, that's when you realize your potential to harm people the most. that's when people most, most times fall right into the co-op. I just, you know, let that be a lesson. And if it's my last lesson, I hope that's my most powerful one. That all you really got is you. And all you really need is, is all that's inside you. And it's your consent to if you're a slave or if you're a king or a queen of your own kingdom. And what kind of king and queen you are. If you are a king and queen who rules through fear and manipulation, then all you are is one great source of vile and evil. And you might as well be covered in scales. But if you are a true champion, a true king, a true queen, you treat everyone the same, like they were kings, like they were queens. And you enable and you inspire others to achieve their highest potential. That's it. That's all. It's so easy. It doesn't, you know... Step away from all the spirits. Step away from everything else. If all you do is live your life treating everyone else like kings and queens and helping them through, 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 through inspiration and kind words and, 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 and great acts and, and that you are virtuous, not for the sake of being virtuous, but because you truly are, then you have achieved the honor of attaining your higher self. And it's, and it's in that time that you will be tempted the hardest and just stick to what you know. Like the hermit card with the desert, with, with the hermit walking through the desert with his lantern, you're going to need that light to see your way. 
I wish you all well, and I hope I do another video here in about a week and a half, two weeks.